Um, this is a car I wanted to have for like the last four years. So when I finally, you know, got the opportunity to acquire one, I went for it. And then just wanted to, you know, pep it up a little bit. I mean, uh, stock, the car was was a, was a beast. Um, stock, it was the fastest car I've ever owned, most powerful car I've ever owned. But, um, you know, I just wanted a little bit more pep. And, you know, when I started up in the morning, like, it just gives me the chills. Um, when I go just for, like, a calm drive, it's so smooth and drivability is perfect. Um, and then, you know, when you get on it a little bit, it, it, it scares you a little bit. <laughs> it gets a little bit rowdy. It's like two different cars in one. Um, and it, it's awesome. Like, it's a great feeling, you know, like, I've accomplished this, you know. So right now, uh, made 752 wheel horsepower, 716 torque on a Mustang Dyna. All the work was done by JTM Motorsports. Uh, we got the um, valve springs, the DOD delete, uh, lower pulley, upper pulley, Concord supercharger, the headers, um, American Racing headers, um, stainless works exhaust, yeah, flex fuel, the D DSX uh, flex fuel kit. So I'm running right now, I'm about E65 but I can run full E85. Yeah, I mean, like I said, stock the car was a beast, but it, to compete with some of these cars, like, hey, you need a list a little bit more. Um, so that, that was my goal. So, you know, I want to keep the motor stock and just, you know, add all, all the bolt-ons. And then uh, we also got the cam in there too, I forgot to mention. Got a cam in there, 33% cam. Um, like I said, the, the power it's making now, like it's perfect for me. I don't take any more power. Like I wouldn't want to drive it around on the street. Right? Haven't tracked it yet um, because biggest problem right now is traction. So I got some 17 inch four stars, 17 by 10, and I ordered uh, the ET Street R's, Mickey Thompson. So I'm just waiting on those to come in. When they come in, I'll go down to the track and see what she does on the quarter mile. Before this car, about four years ago, I had an Infiniti G37. It was had the Stillen supercharger, um, level 10 transmission. I had BC coilovers, uh, all the sway bars. The, the arm control arms and everything all that a lot of that work was done by in track tires uh, i sent it down to slammer when the engine uh, blew up sent it down to slammer they took care of it got me back and running slammer's in uh baby florida they got me back and running uh the car ran 12 2 at 112 mile an hour full interior car weighed 40 4300 pounds all-wheel drive infinity it, it was it was a very, very nice car to have Next step for me after this, right, next, for, next for me is a Porsche Turbo, definitely, um, a 991 or something, but I, I love to look at those cars. I think after this, it's like that's the only place I can really go. Here at Robert Moses State Park, um, I try to come out here on Sundays, I do my little photography, videography thing, so with all the COVID pandemic, I haven't been really out, so I usually come down here and just grab some videos and go home and, you know, practice. That's, you know, it's an awesome feeling, you know, like-minded people and talk about your cars and out here, you, you see a little bit of everything out here on a Sunday. A little bit of everything. One love in the car community. People from everywhere out here just mingling, talking, getting to meet people, know one another, learn about their cars and stuff like that.